guys, it's Katie, and welcome to our channel, Tate and Bugs, where we share our beautiful and simple life with you, one video at a time. In this video, we are going to be decluttering the kitchen, and it's not just a little declutter, it's a big declutter. So this is our first video in this little mini series decluttering with me and we're gonna start with the kitchen it's the heart of the home you're here the majority of the time and I figure why not start with the biggest problem room maybe I have so many kitchen gadgets and I was telling Jared I was like it's it's funny because if you were to see how many kitchen boxes I had in storage you would think that I was like some really good chef like that was my profession, but it's not. I just have a lot of stuff. And so I'm gonna go through and declutter, make sure I only have one of each thing for the most part, and just have a simpler kitchen. I've watched a lot of declutter videos and I've heard from a lot of people that declutter their kitchen that when they do declutter it, they're more prone to cook and spend more time in it because it doesn't stress them out near as bad. And so I'm, I'm all for that. I'm going to give it a shot. Since we've moved out of our old house, we have been out for over a year now and moved into a camp trailer and lived with minimal things. And then we moved into our fixer upper house as we were renovating it. And so we also had minimal things then. And so we've actually been living without a ton of our things for well over a year. And that's just proof that we basically don't need those things. Now our plan for getting rid of things. We're going to be preparing for the largest single family yard sale you have ever seen in your whole entire life. Maybe. I'm not really sure. I know it's going to be bigger than any single family yard sale I've ever been to. And I've been to a lot of yard sales. But I'm really excited because we're going to go through and just clean out the things that are either trash or duplicates or things we're keeping for that someday when we might use it. But that day actually probably will never come. And I'm going to keep a list in my cabinet for each room, a wish list of things that I actually want to buy quality of. So instead of having a ton of cheap, cheap stuff, we want to invest in some really nice things. One of those things being a really nice quality knife block set. And so we have a bunch of miscellaneous knives, which are nice, they work, but we've always wanted a nice knife set. So that's going to go on our list, our wish list of post yard sale purchases. And so this is going to be fun. I'm excited to live a simpler life in terms of having less stuff. And we're going to start with the kitchen. And you'll have to forgive me because this was the first room. These are the first boxes I unpacked and it really overwhelmed me. And I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know how to handle it. I didn't know how many cups do I actually need? How many plates do I need? How many casserole dishes? All these things. And so I actually didn't film hardly anything near as much as I wanted to of the actual decluttering process. So I'm just going to go ahead and start this video out by showing you my get rid of boxes so that you can see what I got rid of and then I'll go through and show you what the cabinets look like now. my Sunday afternoon jammies and my Sunday afternoon slippers on and I'm warming up some Sunday afternoon coffee. <laughs> Jared's sitting in there on the couch and it's always awkward when you're like filming by yourself and the other person isn't involved because you know they're sitting over there judging the words that come out of your mouth like this. Um, and the goal is to clean out this guy. This has been our catch-all for since it's been here and when we put it in, my thoughts were to put in my clear jars with rice and quinoa and 
almond flour and all those healthy things that we used to consume but that I'm planning on consuming again um, in here. But before that happens, I need to clean it out. And then this starts. All this. And that's the goal for this week, is to unpack and get rid of a whole bunch of stuff. We're going to go through it and try to keep my mentality of, I don't need stuff. And that's going to start in just a few minutes. Hey guys, it is Monday and I am working on cleaning out the kitchen boxes. I started yesterday a little bit kind of opening them and kind of clearing out what I already had in the kitchen. Um, but today I'm taking a big bite out of it. And I honestly, like, I wish I could do like a full video on decluttering a kitchen, but usually like videos like that are how to's and I don't know what I'm doing. Like I've lived without all this stuff. I've said it so many times for over a year. So you'd think that I would know what I need and what I don't. But as I'm opening the boxes, I'm like, oh, maybe someday I will, you know, when we have people over for dinner, I'll use this dish to display this, or maybe I'll keep this little clear dish for making tiramisu one day. Like, when am I gonna make tiramisu? I don't know. Look at all my stuff, guys. This is ridiculous. It's both ridiculous and absolutely embarrassing that I have this much stuff. It's the pretty stuff I'm having a hard time with, not the practical things. It's the pretty things. I'm not like the personality that's going to make dinner beautiful. If I make dinner for people to come over, it's probably going to be family style, spread out on the table in what I cooked it in. You know, so that's, I feel like that's my personality. So I just need to realize, you know what? You're probably not going to use a fancy casserole dish. You're going to put it in the pan, maybe cast iron, cook it, set it on the table. I just need to embrace that. Hey guys, okay, so I'm not done yet, but I'm gonna show you how far I've come. So in our old house, we had on top of the kitchen cabinets, all the way across, all these jars full of like oatmeal and sugar and anything that I bought in bulk, I would put it in jars and labeled the tops and it looked really pretty and I loved it, but that resulted in me having an overabundance of jars. So I just washed those and I'm going to try to get them, I'm hoping it works right, but put them all in this built-in and have all of my bulk items in there. So I'm gonna let those dry. And then once I start meal planning again, like I used to, um, then I'll be able to see exactly what jars I'm gonna need and stuff. But I'll show you what we've got going so far. And keep in mind, nothing is exactly organized. I've just kind of put things, categorized them where I want them. And then I'll go through afterwards once I have everything I'm keeping. And then I'll go through and label everything get different containers, drawer organizers, all that kind of stuff. I'm missing one large pot, like a stock pot, because I tried to cook caramel in it and I melted my immersion blender in the caramel. I don't know why I was using an immersion blender with caramel, but I was. <clears throat> and it like solidified the caramel, like it turned it into plastic with the plastic and the sugar. So I just threw the whole pot away. So I gotta get a new pot. Here's my kitchen gadgets drawer. And like I've said before, I'm not at all a minimalist. I just want less clutter in my life. And all of those things I do actually use. I'm planning on doing my spices so far, but I might change my mind. But I like how everything can be um, out in the open and exposed. Not out in the open, but you can see everything clearly. And these are just spices that need jars or need to be thrown away. And down here is stuff that doesn't get used often, but I use it too much to actually get rid of it. Here's my exposed shelving and these are my beautiful dishes that I got from Target a few years ago. Jared surprised me with them and went and bought them for me. Um, but on the bottom I'm keeping three of each thing and on the top the rest. 
because the top is just just out of reach and not convenient to go up and just grab a new plate. So each of us will have our own plate that gets washed after each meal, ideally. I definitely want every single item in this house to have a home. I want it to have a place where it goes. Like even Jared's work clothes. Like he, he only takes them off in the evenings and usually sets them on the chair at the kitchen table or something in his uh, lunchbox. But I want them to have a place that they go every single night to go to sleep. Okay, so next is the food cabinets. Please don't judge my lack of healthy food. That is going to change. But nonetheless. Here is where we will keep our dry goods as far as like snacks and canned things. And I know that does not look like a lot of space for food, but we buy groceries weekly. Um, a lot of people grocery shop monthly, but we grocery shop weekly. And so I feel like that is plenty of space to put things in. And then <clears throat> on top of that, I'm hoping to... Um, cook more and actually make our meals out of ingredients and not have ready to eat foods as much as we do now. And so we're gonna have, like produce can sit out on the counters and look pretty and be available and you won't forget what you have. And then we've got the fridge space. And then what I'm most excited about for organizing is this hutch, this hutch that we built in. I am gonna definitely keep some drop spots in here. Like I'm gonna have a cubby, Jared's gonna have a cubby here and here oh wait that's the medicine cubby um but eventually we're gonna have like how the onions and the potatoes are in a basket and toby's little school books and coloring books are in a box and this is like our junk drawer box so everything will look pretty and it won't just be sitting here like this so while i'll still have drop spots for our things to go and to live um, this is going to be mostly for dry goods for buying in bulk. We have a Winco here, which I love because they have a bulk section in the back. So you can literally buy just as enough oatmeal as you need or just enough brown sugar that you need. And at our old house, that's what I did. And I kept a bunch of snacks in one jar, a bunch of peanuts in another jar, stuff like that. And so that's what I'm going to do here. I'm not a huge fan of appliances sitting out on the counter, if possible. So here in the laundry room... Jared put a shelf for my KitchenAid mixer, the microwave, and an outlet so it can be used in here. Some boxes for my towels and rags, uh, the toaster, and up here are the things that I don't use every single day, but I use them too often to put away entirely. I can't even believe it. It feels so freeing to have such empty cabinets, to have like, to, like, to be able to see the back of the cabinets and not have like 50 coffee cups smashed in there to where you can't even see and then with the food cabinets like it's so easy to lose food in the back of your cabinet because there's so much stuff just crammed where it shouldn't be so that was a fun kind of fun task it was pretty overwhelming but I think I'm ready for the next room I think I got my groove and I'm ready to get in here and start getting this house decluttered now keep in mind I will go back through and organize each room room by room and so you know I'm gonna do the drawer organizers and the dividers and the labels and all these other things but for now I just wanted to get all the clutter out and start at a clean slate and then I can go through each room and organize then. But thank you guys so much for joining me with this crazy adventure. And join me for the next room. Not sure which one it's going to be, but I'm thinking it's going to be my clothes. You're not going to want to miss it. Thanks for watching, guys.